Hey, I'm Joe Fernandez here at the Peoria Art Guild Fine Art Fair, just across the bridge from the local Bass Pro Shop. And I wanted to see what people thought who are fine arts fans in terms of stand-up comedy being an artistic form. I would go inside, but unfortunately it costs $10, so I can't afford it. Let's see what people think. Okay, so far I'm having the same amount of luck as the people offering the free Bible courses. It's a great feeling. All right, finally got someone to take the interview. And just so the common man can relate to this interview, I did write all of my art questions on a napkin I got from Bocce's Pizzeria last night. So is stand-up an art form, do you think? Definitely. Definitely? Definitely. Okay, so... You know, so I guess to compare the two, Georgia O'Keeffe, one of the uh, foremothers of the American modernist movement, a lot of uh, symbols of female empowerment in her art. How would you compare that to Gallagher smashing a watermelon? To who? Exactly. Well, Gallagher smashing a watermelon, and she's drawing a vagina. You know what? So equal. Who has? You know which ones I'd rather look at. Hell yeah, bro. Number two. Uh, who has more cultural relevance? French Impressionists such as Monet, Manet, Cezanne, or Degas, or the blue collar comedy tour of White, Engvall, Foxworthy, and Cable Guy? Well, I know is Cable Guy, so I'm gonna guess the. Uh, French Impressionists? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's the thing is like, what do you think holds more creative value? Uh, Jeff Foxworthy's uh, redneck jokes or Larry the Cable Guy saying, get her done, <laughs> or George Seurat's Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jacques? Oh, I love yeah, so do you think Get Her Done's more important or that painting? Hey, man, uh, probably the painting. <laughs> that's also the correct answer. All right, number three, let me just go to the back of the bocce napkin now for the rest of the questions. Your faith, piece of art, and a fun fact about yourself. Well, I'll start. So my favorite piece of art is Edward Hopper's Nighthawks. It's the one in the diner, and so it's all about the isolation of the city, and if you look close at the painting, you'll see there's no door into the diner, further illustrating the isolation of the city. And a, yeah, fun fact about myself, I have irritable bowel syndrome. Do you have a favorite piece of art and a fun fact? Uh, anything by Dolly, because he was functionally insane. Yeah. And it reminds me that I'm not there yet. <laughs> okay, cool. My favorite painting is the O'Keeffe clouds. They're massive. Oh, yeah. And I think part of it's just how big they are and how, I don't know how one person can take that much amount of time in their life to paint something. Like, it's probably hundreds of feet long. It, like and They had to, like, rip open doors to get into the Art Institute, so that's pretty cool. And she's drawing a vagina. All right, final question. Uh, oh, they say art and comedy comes from a place of pain, whether it's Vincent Van Gogh or Andrew Dice Clay. Do you think that's true of both, just one, or neither? Definitely comedy. See, I know, here's where I disagree. I think art does, but not comedy, because if comedy came from a place of pain, Syrian refugees would be crushing it. El Salvadorian migrants would be crushing our comedy. No, that's so valid. Right? Yeah. Because they'd be like, hey, has anyone ridden this death train to escape the grips of oh. MS-13? It's worse than Spirit Airlines. Because they'd say that because they're not familiar with hack comedy yet, so they'd make fun of Spirit Airlines. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that thing's worse than Spirit Airlines, right? I... Okay, got some great answers from folks out here. And now, since I just was at the art fair, I'm going to pop on over to the Bass Pro Shop. 15%.